Let's do one more example of a change of variables problem. So a problem is to calculate the double integral over r of 1 over the square root of xy dA, where r is a quadrilateral whose corners are 3 quarters, 1 quarter, 3, 1, 1, 3, and 1 quarter, 3 quarters. We could also write the um, equations for the lines defining the boundary edges. So this line here is the line y equals x over 3. This line here is the line y equals 3x. And this line up here is the line x plus y equals 4. And this line here is the line x plus y equals 1. All right. Now this example can be done by integrating in the x and y coordinates. It's just kind of messy. So if we wanted to do it this way, we could integrate over y first. So sort of to get a clean formula, we'd have to divide the integral into three parts. So first there's where x goes from 1 quarter to 3 quarters. So that's sort of this um, leftmost triangle of the region. And here, y goes from um, 1 minus x to 3x. And then the next part is where x goes from 3 quarters to 1. And here, y goes from x over 3 to 3x. And then the last part is where x goes from 1 to 3 and y goes from x over 3 to 4 minus x, then we have to integrate 1 over the square root of xy um, dy dx. Okay, and then you can integrate this with respect to y, and uh, you know, you'll get this, the square root of x times some constant. Then you have to plug in these limits and subtract you can get, get some pretty messy expression, which you can then integrate over x, and you're going to need some trig substitutions to do that. And so that's pretty yucky. All right, so let me show you a change of variables that will make this much nicer. So the first step is to choose the transformation. And here we have to be creative. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take x equals u squared and y equals v squared. Why am I choosing this? Because if I replace x and y by u squared and v squared, then the square root goes away, and I have 1 over uv. And I'm hoping that will be nicer. All right, well, let's see. So let's see what our region becomes in the uv plane. So let's figure out where the boundary edges go. Okay, so the line y equals x over 3 becomes the line v over u equals um, 1 over the square root of 3. And the line where y equals 3x becomes the line v over u equals the square root of 3. And the line x plus y equals 1 becomes the circle u squared plus v squared equals 1. And the line x plus y equals 4 becomes the circle of radius 2 where u squared plus v squared equals 4. And our region S is in here. So this is our region in S. So if we're being careful, we have to make sure that this transformation is a bijection. But if we stick with u and v positive, then it is a bijection, because different positive numbers have different squares, but every positive number 
has a square a positive square root, a unique positive square root. So what we're getting is our region is um, well, it's it's a sort of a polar rectangle. Okay, so when v over u equals one over square root of three, this is where theta is pi over six, because the tangent of pi over six is one over square root of three. And then this other line here, this is where theta equals two pi over six, or pi over three, and the tangent is the square root of three. Okay, now let's calculate the Jacobian. So d of xy over uv is the determinant of gx du, dx dv, dy du, dy dv. So dx du is 2u, dy, dx dv is 0, dy du is 0, and dy dv is 2v. So I get 4uv. And the magnification factor is the absolute value of this, but I don't need to do anything because u and v are positive. So this is the magnification factor. All right, so we get that the double integral over r of 1 over square root of xy dA is the double integral over s. So I, first I have to take the function and rewrite it in terms of u and v. So this is now just 1 over uv. Now I have to multiply by the magnification factor, which is 4uv, and then dA. So I have the double integral over s of 4, because the u and v cancel. The double integral over any region of 4 with respect to area is just 4 times the area. Okay, and what's the area of s? Well, s is you take a pi slice of angle pi over 6 and radius 2 and subtract the pi slice of angle pi over 6 and radius 1. Remember that the area of a pi slice is the angle over 2 times the radius squared. So this is pi over 6 times 4 over 2 minus pi over 6 times 1 over 2. Right, so this is 4 times what? Um, so here I have pi over 6 times 3 fourths. Um, so I take um, 3 fourths and, um, sorry, try that again. Okay, let me not try to skip too many steps at once. So I have 4 pi times um, 2 over 6 is a third. And here I have uh, minus a twelfth. A third minus a twelfth is a fourth. So the final answer is pi. Okay, so we could have done it in the xy coordinates and by splitting the integral into three pieces, evaluating this thing, and then doing some trig substitutions to figure out what we get. And the work would be messy. But once we cleverly change coordinates by x equals u squared and y equals v squared, the integral becomes trivial. We just have to calculate the area of the region, which we can do. So if you make your change of coordinates cleverly, then you can often turn a difficult or even impossible problem into a easier or at least doable problem. So now you can have fun trying this yourself with some other examples.